my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video we will discuss the kidney shrinkage. Kidney shrinkage is the condition where the size of the kidney is going down. And as the size of the kidney goes down, the level of ketonin and urea increases because kidney also loses its function to filter out all the waste metal from the body. Now on your screen there is an image of the kidney. Normally the size of the kidney is 10 cm. It's 10 cm in bipolar length from this pole to this pole 10 cm. But when because of high blood pressure or pyelonephritis the size of the kidney goes down and when, when it comes around 8.5 cm we consider the kidney is shrinking. Now there is two type of kidney shrinking. In one case the both kidneys are shrinking we call it bilateral shrinkage. In one case another case what is happening only one kidney out of two is shrinking we call it unilateral kidney shrinkage. Now the cause of bilateral shrinkage is normally hypertension. When the person suffer from hypertension, because of hypertension, the both kidney are getting affected and that's why the kidney shrinkage happens in the both kidneys. But when the person suffer from any kind of infection, UTI, what happens? Because of infection, only one kidney gets infected and the size of the kidney goes down. So when the person comes to the clinic with a complaint of kidney shrinkage, so when a patient of kidney shrinkage comes to the clinic with the ultrasound report, what we look into the report is that, is there any kind of unilateral uh, shrinkage or it's a bilateral shrinkage. If the bilateral shrinkage is there, that means patient is suffering from a hypertensive a nephropathy. That means the cause of damage and the cause of that kidney shrinkage is hypertension. And when we see that there is only unilateral kidney shrinkage, that means only one kidney is shrinking in the size, that means the patient is suffering from pyelonephritis because when the infection goes from unit tract to the upwards, it reaches to the kidney and because of that infection, the size of the kidney becomes small, the kidney becomes shrunk. So with the help of ultrasound report, we can diagnose the cause of the kidney failure. The cases of bilateral kidney shrinkage are much higher than the unilateral kidney shrinkage and the cause is hypertension. So let's start with the hypertension. How hypertension causes the kidney shrinkage? When the blood enters into the kidney with the help of renal artery, it, it gets divided into smaller section and goes into the capillaries. But the pressure is high. Because of this high blood pressure, what happens? The arteries, the vessels, the capillaries which provide food, which provide nutrition to the kidney faces the impact of that blood pressure. Normally our blood pressure is 120, 80 of mm of Hg. But when the level of blood pressure increases, especially the diastolic one, the pressure goes 140, 100 mm of Hg. This 100 causes more damage to the kidney. And because this resting blood pressure is also high, it causes impact, it causes injury to the cells which makes the capillary system. So consider this is the capillary end and when the blood enters into this capillary system it causes some kind of impact and because of this regular impact the structure which makes this capillary becomes damaged and as it becomes damaged it becomes hard in structure. As the cells of these capillaries faces the impact they become hard, they become non-functional and as the function of the capillaries goes down the amount of oxygen and nutrition provided to the nephrons are lesser than before. As the availability of oxygen and nutrition goes down the size of the kidney starts decreasing and kidney become shrunk. So it's very important for our kidney failure patient to maintain their blood pressure because if we maintain the blood pressure the injury which happens in the kidney because of high blood pressure also goes away and we can stop the further kidney damage. Now let's move to the pyelonephritis. In case of pyelonephritis, what is happening when the person suffers from UTI, the infection goes up into the unit tract from urethra, ureter to the kidneys. As the kidney gets infected with the infection, the size of the kidneys goes down and this shows as an in reports as a unilateral kidney shrinkage and the condition is known as pyelonephritis. Now the question arises how we can control this kind of kidney damage and how we can control the level of ketamine and urea in a kidney failure patient. 
when a patient is suffering with a hypertension nephropathy we have to work on hypertension first because if the BP remains high if the hypertension remains high what will happen there will be further damage to the kidney and as the damage of the kidney progresses the level of the creatinine and urea also increases in the blood so if we want to control this creatinine level urea level we have to work on the hypertension first because if the level of the blood pressure comes in the normal range what will happen there will be no further damage to the kidney and as the damage of the kidney stops the level of the creatinine and urea becomes static so it's very important for all kidney failure patients to understand we have to remove the cause which is causing kidney damage number one thing as the cause of the kidney damage is removed then we can work on kidney function restoration because kidney has the ability to increase its function unlike liver the cells of the kidney can't be regenerated but kidney cells have special power to increase its function now let me give you an example suppose one person has donated one kidney to another now who has donated the kidney or have only one kidney out of two that means that the function of the kidney has gone down by 50 percent even with a single kidney the level of kidney and urea doesn't increases in that person who has donated the kidney to the another person now the question arises why this happens because kidney has special ability to increase its function so we have to use that special power of the kidney in each and every patient of kidney failure if we increase the kidney function of the rest remaining healthy kidney what will happen is that the level of the kidney and urea will go down because function of the kidney has been improved now kidney is working much better than before kidney is able to extract out all the waste metal from the body so as the function of the kidney improves the level of the kidney and urea goes down and as the waste material level goes down in the bloody what happens the complication caused by these waste material also goes away so it's very important for our kidney failure patient to understand we can't improve the kidney function without the removal of the cause and once the cause of the kidney failure goes away we can work on the restoration of the functions of the kidney now on the third step of kidney function restoration treatment we work on the cellular strength in third step of kidney function restoration treatment we have to work on the cellular strength because all patient of hypertension doesn't suffer from kidney failure only one out of uh, hypertensive person suffer from kidney failure that means there is something which is protecting these three patients and that is cellular strength so we have to work on the cellular level so that we can provide that particular strength to the cells which makes the kidney and as the cellular strength of the kidney comes the progression of the ckd can be easily stop so it's very important for our kidney failure patient to understand all these kind of things so it's very important for our kidney failure patient to understand that we can bring down the level of creatinine and urea in the blood with the help of improving kidney function and to improve the kidney function we have to work on the cause of the kidney failure now i will show you a few reports of the patient of the kidney failure and you can see yourself how kidney function restoration treatment works in the patient of a kidney failure So when you start your kidney function restoration treatment, you have to go for your KFT. Once you go for your KFT, look for the level of the kidney and urea in your report. And after one month of treatment of kidney function restoration treatment, again go for your KFT report. You can see the decreased level of kidney and urea in your KFT reports. So it's very easy to control the level of kidney and urea in your blood. All you have to do, you have to start your kidney function restoration treatment. I hope you have understand how and what causes the kidney shrinking and how we can control this kidney shrinkage if you have any kind of question inquiry regarding kidney failure you can simply call our doctor's number given below you can simply whatsapp your report on the given number and as the doctor receive those report they will call you back and as per your reports the kidney function restoration treatment will be advised to you and you can start the treatment and you can see the changes in your reports within a span of one month only with this allow me to say goodbye see you in the next video till then namaskar